everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. We are about to begin our gingerbread theme. And before I give you a classroom tour, I wanted to tell you a little bit about how this school year is going. We are just about three months in and it has been amazing once again to see their growth, to see how much they change between September and now, and that will just continue throughout the school year. I think that's one of my favorite parts of this job, is seeing how much growth takes place, and I'm sure you see that as well. So I have really enjoyed sharing my weekly videos with you, and if you're new here and you haven't yet seen them, please make sure to check them out because every week what I've been doing is taking you on a tour, showing you how our classroom is set up, and then I invite my children into the classroom and you can see how they're using their materials. And that's been new this year and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. And make sure to go to the end of my videos because what I've started doing is sharing the printables I'm using at the very end. So you will see how I, uh, I have printables that are for circle time, I have printables that are for table activities, I have printables for the writing center, dramatic play. We like to make our printables so that they can be used in a variety of ways. So make sure to always go to the end of my videos where you will see all of the printables and I always link them in the video's description. So now I'm going to go ahead and set up the classroom for the gingerbread theme. We're on Thanksgiving break right now. So when they come back, when the children return, they're gonna be so excited to see the changeover. No more fall, it's gonna be gearing up for Christmas. So let me show you how we have our classroom set up for our gingerbread man theme. On our light table, we have our candy construction. They're like Tinker Toys. It's kind of like the gingerbread house version. And then over here, we have our gingerbread bakery happening. And this is on Teachers Pay Teachers in our shop. It's got some coupons and menus and signs. And then we have different baking things out there, utensils and bowls. We have aprons. And then I have, oh, I found this cute little um, a dish towel, actually, gingerbread dish towel at Marshall's. It was a set along with this one here. So I kind of put those in there as well to give it a little bit more gingerbread look. And then I'm also collecting more baking um, empty baking items. I like to use different containers and I just tape them up. I'll leave a little bit in there, but I tape it so they can't get to it. So I've been, I'll get some more of those, bring those from home. And in our block area, we have our little plush gingerbread men. And if you've seen my previous year's gingerbread theme videos, we've used these now for like six years, seven years, I don't even know now. Somebody, one of the teacher's mothers found it in a thrift shop and so <laughs> they're kind of starting to lose their, their facial features, but the children absolutely love them. And then I have these paper mache houses that they can use with them as well. These I normally use at the beginning of the school year. I use them in our sensory bin for the all about me theme, but I thought they'd be fun over here. And then we just have some loose parts in a basket so that they can build. And then in our sensory bin, we have some building going on with the cubes and we have our little gingerbread men. These are the little bendable ones. And then I have these paper mache gingerbread pieces that they can fill as well. And if I have any of the, if I still see some of these on Amazon, I will drop links in the video's description. I need to pull out more of our printables, but for right now we have our gingerbread man and we also have him over on the easel. And then over here on our magnetic board, we switched it over and we put our felt tree. We love this tree. I'll drop a link in the video's description, but they're felt pieces with Velcro. And I've had this now for five years and it is so sturdy. I am so impressed. So we have the other, it comes with all the little ornaments and then they just stick them on the tree. You can see we have our bin with all of our circle time activities 
and we have our props and these are all at the end of the video the links to all of these so that is how we have our classroom set up for the gingerbread theme this is the first theme that welcomes us into christmas and we just have three weeks before our winter break so some of this will just stay out the entire three weeks some of this will be changing and of course i will share next week what areas we've changed. So this is an activity that is part of the gingerbread packet and there are homes, different gingerbread houses that go up to 10 and each house is a different color. And then there are gingerbread men that match the houses and they match the numbers. So what I'm going to do is use this as a circle time activity and I'm going to lay the houses out. And for our younger children, we'll just go up to five and for our older classes, we'll go up to 10. I'm going to make enough gingerbread men so that each child gets one. So depending on how large your class is, you're gonna to have to make extras. And then as you go around the circle, the children come up and they find the matching gingerbread house. Have them tell you what, if they can, what number is on the house and the gingerbread man and also what color. And so they're just gonna place it under the house just like this and then you can even make have an extra challenge where you can have more of some numbers than others so you can say which house has the most so you can really adapt this for different levels but for younger children keep it basic only use a few of the lower numbers so that there's not as many and then they're just simply mostly matching it by color but then you can tell them what number is on it as well and if you want to have it be simpler for the younger children and you don't want to involve the numbers in our gingerbread packet we also have just a simple color matching activity and there's more colors than this but for right now for simplicity i'm just going to show you these four and then whatever colors i choose to use i make sure i have enough gingerbread men so that each child has one. And again, I am going to lay these out. I will do this in a single row when we have it in front of the children at circle time on the carpet. And then each of them will come up and they'll match their gingerbread to the same color house. So this is very similar to the numbered, except it doesn't have a number. So it's a little bit easier for younger children or if you simply wanna work on color skills, then this is the one that you will want. This is also part of the gingerbread packet and this is a cookie shape recognition activity. So it goes great with their gingerbread theme. I chose the bell, the tree, the house, and the snowflake. And you have one set that you place on the carpet. This is the shape. And then you want to make sure you have enough extra of the decorated cookies so that each child has one and they come up and they match their shape their cookie just like that and this is also um, you can do this as an individual activity at the table where you just make one set of each and then they can just place their cookies on top of the shapes we also have a emotions activity that is part of our gingerbread packet and what we, we have the different faces here and these are what we lay out on the carpet at circle time and then the children each get one of the cards that has a different facial expression and they can come up and they can match the gingerbread man to the facial expression just like this and again you want to make sure you have enough so that each child gets at least one and then for our younger children for my two and young three-year-olds i'm going to start this activity by just having happy and sad so i have the happy sad faces that i'll put on the floor and then they'll i'll make enough of these so that the children will each get a happy or a sad face and they can put it on. From there, we'll build to the other emotions. 
For older preschoolers, in our gingerbread packet, we have these gingerbread man lacing cards. And then once again, I've laminated these. Definitely um, these, especially you want these to be durable since they're gonna be holding them. And then they just simply put the yarn through the hole. They just, they're weaving it through, lacing it. And I like to buy these pre-tipped lacing yarn pieces and you can get these on Amazon I've seen them on at Lakeshore and you just simply uh, it makes it a lot easier and I always like to tie it on here like find one spot to tie it on so then it doesn't slip off and then they can go around again this would be more suitable for older preschoolers because they have a lot of holes um, that they'd have to weave it in and out of in our gingerbread packet, we also have these decorate a cookie sheets and there's different shapes. I like to use these at the writing table and you can use them with markers, watercolors, uh, crayons, colored pencils, doodads, whatever you like to use at the writing table. And you can also use these at the art table. Actually, that would probably be a better place for the watercolors. I also use these as templates. So I will cut them apart and um, either I will trace them, um, I can use this as a shape to trace onto construction paper, or we might, I just might cut them out and actually use the same paper that they were printed on, and we can use them for some type of art activity as well. Also in our gingerbread packet are signs and menus so that you can add a gingerbread bakery to your dramatic play area. We also have a gingerbread circle time props packet that comes with the characters in the traditional gingerbread man story. And what I like to do is laminate them and I put a magnetic dot on the back. And this is just self adhesive, so it's so easy. And I put these on a magnetic board because um, I, that's how I like to do it for circle time. The children really can see them. And I love the size of these because they really grab the children's attention. They're nice and large. And you can also put Velcro on the back and put them on a felt board. And then what I also do, oh yes, and there's also, I couldn't forget the little gingerbread man who's running, he's in there too. And then I took the basic gingerbread man and I laminated and made enough copies of him so that each of the children can hold one while we tell the story. And then this printable is hot off the press. This is part of our brand new packet on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's called Five Little Friends Jumping on a Bed. And it has different characters um, that jump on the bed. And these are from different, they're seasonal or different holidays. Like there's the hearts and there's the bunnies and um, there's snowmen. So you change it out. The, the bed is different too. It's decorated depending on the season. And there might be a glare that's being picked up on this because I've laminated it. So it's hard for me to get this so that you can see it without it, that glare. But they are, I laminated the gingerbread men and they are attached with Velcro. And then on the back, uh, I put a little strap. This is how I always do my little uh, handheld, the, like the five little monkeys, I did it like this. And so it's a little handle. And then I put tape on the other side so it's not sticky right here. And then I can just hold it and we remove the gingerbread men as they fall off the bed. And it does come with a sheet of plain gingerbread men. And what I like to do always, as I've said before, is I like to create little props so you could cut these out, laminate them, put them on popsicle sticks so the children can hold them. And then they can move their gingerbread up and down jumping while you do the, uh, you hold this prop with the gingerbread jumping off the bed. We have more gingerbread activities in our Christmas theme packet. This particular activity is really fun for younger learners 
and it's a pom-pom matching activity. So you can put as many cards out as you want. This can be a table activity and they just match the pom-poms up. You can also have this be a circle time activity by putting these pieces out in the middle of the floor and giving each child a pom-pom. So you make sure you have enough and you'll have, you probably have a, a couple of reds, a couple of purples or whatever, and then they can come up and they can put their pom-pom on the matching gingerbread. Part of our Christmas theme packet is this gingerbread patterning activity. We have an easier one that just has one line and then we have more challenging pattern cards that have two lines and they have to figure out where, which color gingerbread goes in the box with the question mark. We have these gingerbread clip cards that are also in our Christmas theme packet and the children count how many gingerbread men there are and then they can clip the clothespin to the number and I also found these cute gingerbread erasers. They come in different colors but I took the brown ones out and they can count as they do so. And if you want to work on shapes, this gingerbread man activity from the Christmas theme packet, there's actually two sheets. So there's another sheet with some more shapes. And then I have the cards and they just place it. They just match them on top like this. And this is a great table activity. In the Christmas packet, we have a gingerbread color matching activity and we, I just, just like I do with all of my circle time activities, I make one copy that uh, these all go on the carpet and then I make extras so that each child has one and then I have them come up and then they just match them up. And then you can count how many you have of each color. Here is another fun way to use these. Go on a gingerbread man hunt. So hide these around the room and then you can ask the children to find them and as they find them, they can bring them back to the circle and they can tell you what color they have. Another printable is gingerbread props. These come plain and they come numbered. And then I use the numbered ones. I love to put these on the magnetic board. Again, there's my magnetic circle. And then what you can do is you can either use these for songs or just for plain old counting, or you can make extra copies of these and then the children can get a copy. They can get a gingerbread with a certain number and theirs can have magnetic on the back as well. And they can go up to the magnetic board and they can place theirs next to the matching number. I also have this freebie on the website. These are gingerbread man mats, and I like to use these at the Play-Doh table. Here's a fun make a gingerbread house. This is a free printable on the website. You have your house, and then they have a bunch of different pieces that the children can then decorate the house, the gingerbread house. So this is a fun addition to the gingerbread theme and wherever they want to put their pieces they can and this could be a table activity or another option would be it could be a circle time activity so you give each child a piece and they can come put their gingerbread piece on it until the gingerbread house is built If you're looking for a gingerbread man template or a coloring sheet or a painting sheet, I have this free printable that is on my website. It's actually in a collection with some other free Christmas template color sheets. So all of these links are in the video's description. Make sure to be following Teaching Two and Three Year Olds on YouTube and click that bell icon so that every time I publish a new video, you will be notified. Thanks for watching.